What is going on guys? Awesome Rucho here back again played Ark Survival Evolved on the Ragnarok map and oops wrong button again as I usually always do just sitting here looking over my kingdom my new base here so I did make some updates or upgrades we should look in a little bit but for today which we'll be doing after we look at stuff this time I'm going to try again there is a spino down here is it that one? nope there is a high level spino down here somewhere if I could figure out is it this one over here is this you? are you him? are you he? okay it's not showing up at all that one's got really cool colors though I really like that one I don't know if that's it though um, hopefully it is not dead but there is a 150 spino down here somewhere like I said I'm not sure if this one is it over there because for some reason the magnifying glass isn't picking it up but hopefully we did not lose it. Let's check over here real quick. I thought I saw a spino. Guess it's just the water. Yeah, hopefully we haven't lost it. But I'm going to end up using, if it is still over here in the existence, I'm going to use, why can't this pick it up? Um, I'm going to get the behemoth gates out and try to capture, oh, maybe that one over there. Now that we're closer, we should be able to, you know, 95. But that one looks so good, though. 25 hopefully it didn't die because there was huge fights going on over here is it this one yes 150 male spino it's got a yellow fin on it so it looks cool so i'm gonna do that so i'm gonna work on updating this because as i mentioned in the last episode and stuff when i keep putting stuff in there like the baryonyx lately they keep attacking the wall so i'm gonna upgrade that um over here of course we have our new bridges that we build across the water so now I can walk dinos from when we get stuff from tame that way over from here so they are built all the way now down to the ground and so we can maybe faster to fly we have this coming over to here now which of course this is usually where I get metal so I've kind of cut off my metal supply but there's metal everywhere over to here up over here I did not work over on this here. I completely forgot about this. Maybe needing to expand out a little over here just to make the path a little wider. Not sure. And then over to here. So we have that walkway and this walkway here we can go. And of course the game graphics are kind of glitching out there for a second. But hopefully we won't have more actual graphic issues, I hope. But still going at full frames here currently been having some issues with that lately hopefully it's not my computer going kaput because if it is I'm SOL because I can't afford a new one so I just got to deal with what I got to do oh and then the other updates or upgrades I made was over here on the base started to convert um, the base over here to metal or the dino storage area to metal so as you can see put metal railings move the entrance way now that I have the no uh, foundations required even though I think I did put foundations yeah I'll, I still put foundations out but uh, now that I don't need it I was able to build it over here so that way I have a clear walkway over to here and I still need to put railings back here I had just ran out of metal railings but of course now I have some and I'm going to use them for something else and then of course we have the T-Rex or yeah T-Rex and Bronto pin that we did last episode as well over here they're all chilling out, have fun. Bronto in the brack or brack or no Bronto in the Brachiosaurus costume, and then our T-Rex there, which I haven't got any names. Which, by the way, speaking of names, um, so I have seen other YouTubers do it, and I think that's a you know amazing and fantastic idea. And they let other people that watch their videos name their dinos. So if you guys want to start giving me some names of dinos, I'd be more like then happy to take them under consideration as long as they're you know not inappropriate or anything you can always put them in there and not get a laugh at them and something but um will not uh use them at all but any of the dinos that don't have names or if you want to like say one of your favorite dinos say is this trike and because you know i tried to do like whatever their name started with so trike starts with a t so i did a tammy a t name for that but now of course it's in the styracosaurus costume there which i think looks cool with that neon blue but if you have like a favorite dino or something would like you to name after this. Only, I will not change this name though. So the Griffin will be Moonracer forever. And then I don't know of any other names I'm really, you know, like attached to or anything. Um, 
but yeah so this is so far the only one that I know of that I don't want to change so today I'm coming over here and I'm going to try to build a um, area that I can get up on to shoot from so let's go up here and yeah we want it right here and I believe it's for high we shouldn't possibly know this by now from building all the stuff we have done so we need the center okay and now let's go with that and hopefully I do this right because obviously last time I built this um, way it messed up but I'm not building a huge uh, when I did the last taming pin uh, I may have to try and get up there Nope, stop. Nope, too high in there. Buildings always sorts sort of issues. Stop. There just went in the first person. And I don't know why I did not make any more ceilings. <laughs> That's kind of a um, oversight on my part. Um, but just going to be putting these up here, making a little platform. So I will go make... Trying to decide if I just want to leave it one wide out. Yeah, I think it will just one wide. Um, I'm going to go make one here real quick and then we will fly back. Let's hop off and just build one if I hopefully have enough stuff. Stone, stone ceiling, craft one. Oh, I, that's why I didn't build those ceilings. They were just already done. Okay. And then I will need, I should have ladders or something. I don't know if I have any on me. Nope. Guess not. Okay, I'll have to build some of those. But for right now, it doesn't really matter. Let's just fly back over here and put this last ceiling on. Just keep gently. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. I tried to hit the stop button. Hopefully that's even, because this is usually where I get messed up on the stuff. Does it look even? Yeah, it does look even all the way across. So that's good. So that's what I want. Just that'll be the area where I go up and shoot now, because down here now, in the bottom, whoa, glitching through the door. I will now be replacing them with all the metal railings since obviously the dinos are attacking. Oh, come on. Do I have to remove all of these before I can probably... I'll probably do that, so let's check real quick. Go ahead and pull that. Pull it. Let's go ahead and hopefully I don't hit stuff I don't want to. You have to pull all these, I guess, and then try. Now let's put the gun away. There we go. So yeah, so that's probably what I'm gonna have to do because it's having some issues. I'd probably have to uh, do a bunch of different angles. I don't know where that went, but I don't want that up there. And I'm grabbing stuff now, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace all of these, and I'll bring it right back when I'm done. And it is now done so as you can see if we come up in here there we have all the metal railings now all around here so dinos will not be able to break out possibly if they start attacking then hey you're not very straight so let's try placing this down again yeah good enough I guess whoa come on there we go. So you can then drop a dino and come up on the ladder here. Then I put this because obviously, you know, it's pretty much over there. So I have this whole area that I can, you know, shoot down in on the dino. The only problem is, is if they're like right in here, there'll be some issues. But I think it'll be fine. And then I block this off so I don't fall off the edge. So we're all set up there. So now it's really getting dark. Let's jump off on the moon racer here. And now it's time to try and get the Spino. I probably need more Trank Darts. Let's see how many I have made up. I forgot about. Nope, land. 
forgot about possibly needing trank darts, so let's check in here. Nope, that's the wrong one. Because I thought I had a whole bunch made up. Oh yeah, here's some more. We'll grab another stack of 100. So 175, that should be perfect. Do I have any narcotic? No, I don't. So let's grab a narcotic. We'll grab two, because I think spinos are somewhat of a pain. And then... So that should be Trank Darts, Narcotic, okay, let's go over here and we'll, we'll get on Astro now. Get off, because Astro has the things on him, I believe. Yeah, the Stone Behemoth Gates, there we go. So let's take Astro now, and we'll fly down somewhere over here, find a place to build our Taming Pin. We'll just do our normal thing and then, of course, drag the Spino into it. Trying to figure out where the best place would be. Let's find out which one is the Spino. That's the 25. I probably can kill some of these. 25, 150. Yeah, the one there. So let's go ahead and... Trying to figure out which would be best that I can use something possibly to shoot at it. Let's take a look over here. We do have a Spino over here. That's the one I really like the color of. Uh, I don't know where it'd be a good place to build it. Or I could shoot down into it. Okay, so let's try and use this wall over here. I'm going to try and stay on the bird. As much as I can. Actually, let's just land up on this rock here. There we go. Just kind of build a little... gateway around here there we go and there we go so now we gotta turn off all of these for manual Switch that one. Uh, no. Come on. There we go. So we've got this one over here. We can use, let's see if we can break out this rock just to help us. There we go. That may help. Then we can stand up on there and shoot down on the Spino. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Let's get our bird and try to lead the Spino over here now. So I'll probably kill all of the others and hopefully it'll follow. Let's make sure we get the right one. Are you him? You are him. So that's the one we need. So we will kill you Spino. Dead Spino. I don't want to destroy all of these. There we go. We'll leave that one there. And we won't hit this one. Let it attack us. And then lead it across into the pin and hopefully can fly back around. Apparently it's got distracted by fish. Don't fly in the water please. Ah, uh, stupid fish. I'll just stand here as bait. Come look at me, I'm a pretty piece of turkey over here. Don't you want a turkey leg? Ah, uh, come on. All the stupid fish it's being attacked by. I'll, once I get into the gate, I'll probably bring it back. Hopefully it won't die by a stupid fish. 
Come on, Spino. Oh yeah, I'll, when I get it in, I'll bring it back. And I got the Spino trapped in there finally. Hopefully this is the right one. I forgot to check. Yes, the 150 male Spino has been trapped in our pin. All plans have worked. Let's just come over here. Make sure there's no... There's usually sometimes raptors spawn up here. So let's make sure. Any, any raptors? Anybody? Anybody? Any raptors? Because we don't want them obviously causing any issues for us. I don't see any. Okay, so let's come over here. Hop off. And now we will start unloading into the Spino. And hopefully get it tamed up this time and now it has nowhere to run. You're not getting away from me this time, Spino. So I'll get it knocked out and I'll bring it back when I get it done. And the Spino finally went down. So there it is all knocked out. I better hurry. I got to find something to get... Well, I can obviously put meat on it, but I think Spino and this one is not a good one over here. So I'll just kill. At least I hope it's not a good one. But I got a 150, so it's not like it really matters. Oh, there's some Stegos. Stegos will be good. They get prime meat. There we go. That should give you some good prime meat to put on the Spino. So let's fly over here and quickly put it on. Because like I said, I think Spino's loose Torpor pretty fast not exactly sure though but let's just do this as quickly as possible just to make sure let's grab of course grab a couple things oh shoot those all expired oh goodness let's put that on there okay let's try find I swore spine or er, stegos gave prime meat, but the prime meat like instantly expired. Let's come back over here. Oh, maybe I did. Of course. There must be bugs or something over here. There we go. Thirty-five or thirty-nine raw prime meat. That should be much better. The prime meat. There it is. No, get off the bird. Get off the bird. There we go. That should be a good prime meat for now. It's not losing too much. Tor, tor, poor, tor, four, whatever you want to call it. Right there, torpidity. But I've got the stuff just in case. But I'm going to sit here and watch it. Hopefully, get samed up and nothing will attack it. Hopefully there's no dangerous creatures lurking out about. I see you over there, Dodicarus. You better not be hurting my Spino. But yeah, I'm going to sit here and wait for it to tame up, and I will be right back. And there it is, all tamed up. We got the Spino 100% perfect, or not 100%, it was like 99.9, .9, but we still got all of the levels, so it's a 224, which is awesome. Okay, come on. And we've got the saddle here to put onto it. So we've got our saddle and we've got our Spino. So this is, of course, another dino that you guys can give me a name for if you want to. Let's see if we can uh, pull out a weapon. Nope. Just wondering if I could pull out a weapon on this Spino since it's on the ground. But it looks like you can't. So I need to get the gun out here. So I'll put that there. And we will bring back all of the doors okay come on shoot the door and there we go we got our spino finally did not have any issues that <laughs> well besides just trying to get it into the pin itself did take a while as you um, saw I was having issues and it took a little bit longer to try and get it into the thing so let's go ahead and Go in here and add a level of health to it. And then also just to make sure, let's go ahead and... That's not what I wanted. Come on. Where's your hitbox? There you go. Behavior and uh, change it to passive just so it doesn't attack anything. I'll also go ahead and... Teon Astro. And let's go swimming. Look, there's a Baryonyx right here. Oh god. 
that did not work. There we go, since the spinal was on passive, that didn't work. Okay, so Barry Onyx still apparently kick our butt, and I thought the Astro would have been doing something, but apparently not. Um, so way to go, Astro. Way to, like, not be a team player. There we go. So we're just a Spino now. Let's go down into the water. If we can see. Of course, I gotta worry about my oxygen and everything. And Spino has oxygen as well. There's, of course, our unfinished thing that we never did finish. And of course, he has a horrible turning radius. Uh, it's not working. Let's just go ahead and get him out of there. He's moving way too slow for any of that. He's more of a straight land dino type of thing. So let's go ahead. And... There we go. Attack the Parasaur. Goodbye, Packy. Tyrannodon. Oh, you made it away. So there we've got our Spino, which is so cool. I assume it eats. Well, obviously, I fed it already, so it eats me. Let's go ahead and. Should probably let's increase its that increase some of its movement speed just to make it a lot faster than what it was. Of course, it has a horrible turn radius, as you can see, just on land, let alone on water. I don't know what it would be like. But let's go ahead and get this back to base now. I like how it moves. It walks funny. There's a fossil. Still collecting fossils. Gonna be turning that thing off soon. The whole event thing there. So let's walk back up this way. And of course, there's our new bridge. So we could go up on that if we wanted to, but I don't want to right now. And let's go up our tour base. Don't use this door hardly at all. It's the RG lost. I swear, I lose this RG more than any other thing in the world. Oh, there. There he is. And we made it back to the base. Yes, he is following me, and we made it back. So let's go ahead and stick our Spino here for now. So that's awesome. So I like, I love that fin color, like the red into the yellow. It looks really cool. It's like a sunrise or something like that. Let's go ahead and you T U to follow me, so you can land. Land, I said. And why you? Anything else? Let's go ahead and. Pick up this fossil pile real quick. Let's see if we can get something to try out in our new uh, taming pit over there. So let's see if there's any dinos. I'll fly around a little bit. See if there's any dinos worth picking up that I or that I can pick up that are worthwhile. Oh, that's a trike. Are you fighting something? Nope, just walking funny. Uh, don't need another pooper. They used to be always like raptors and everything up here, but now they're pretty much all gone. But um, I'll fly around a little bit, see if I can find something, like I said, worth taming up. And we'll try out our new improved taming pin. So let me see if I can find something. Okay, so I found some to tame up some saber too. So there's a grouping over here. Like that one looks really cool. And it's a 130. And then there were two more around. Of course, who knows where they went to now a 140 which again is a good level but then there is which I don't like the collar you're right there a 150 saber tooth male saber tooth so that's what we're gonna be going for hopefully I can try and sneak up onto it so it doesn't start attacking me but I'm pretty sure uh, my RG has plenty of health so if it does it won't really make a difference 150 so it's got a greenish color to it so I've got to try and sneak in as fast as I can and pick it up there we go nope he got me so if I can just make it back to my base it's not doing too much damage to me which the base is just right over this way as I said, he's not doing too much damage. Can't believe I found another 150. So this is the day of 150s. 
apparently. Stop attacking me! And I just hope the RG will not attack it once we get it down here. Oh, here it is. It's doing like a weird little spin. Are you in? Yes, you are. Okay, so we got the saber in there. So now it's just trying to trink it. You will stay here. I'm just going to put this on passive just in case. I'll just have to remember to change it again in the future. Oops, I keep forgetting I got to hit the button. Used to just going up the ladders and walking up automatically. Okay, so let's pull out our gun. Okay, see, so yeah, I can still hit it from here. So I'm going to get the Saber knocked out now. And then we'll get this tamed up. It's such a weird... So it's like green in general. And then it's... Or yellowish green color. And then it's got black stripes all over. So this one's going to be interesting. So again, this will be another one. I don't even know if I'm hitting. I think I'm missing most of these shots. Yep, keep missing. Um, this will be another one you can give a name to. So if you want to name the 150 Saber 2, stop moving. There we go. Hit it that time. But I'm going to get this one knocked out and tamed up. And once I do, I will bring it back to you. And the looks like the Saber 2 got tamed up. So I finally knocked it out after wasting so many darts because it just kept running around, as you saw. And I kept missing it like crazy. But it finally got tamed up. I'm pretty sure it got all of the level, yeah, 224 again, just like the Spino. And I went ahead and made a saddle for it, so I got an Ascendant saddle because I had an Ascendant saddle blueprint. So I went ahead and crafted that, that up. Of course, it took a whole lot of stuff to craft it up and everything, but we got it going. So I'll increase the weight there a little bit, and then we'll put a little melee damage going in there. So we got our saber. Oh, it's actually got, like, purple stripes. That is cool. I thought they were just, like, you're like a purple cat. You're purple and green. That's awesome. I like purple, so that's cool. So again, I need another name for, or a, a name for this one. So we've got the Spino and the Saber Tooth to get names for. So we'll write it. I swore there was a cat that was like this, or like in a cartoon or something that was something like this. Because of course we had Cringer, which we named our um, whatever you call it. Let's get that there. Get it out of the grass so we can actually see it. Like that, get them here together. So we got our saber tooth and our spino, our pretty spino. They're both boys, I think, too. Yeah, male and male. So we need females for these. Now, of course, saber tooths don't lay eggs, so it's not like it really matters. But that is, I don't like the dark like face and hair here, but I really like the purple, purple stripes on like the greenish yellow body i really like that then of course this is just a green spino so nothing special but it does have the red in, on its fins there it's got some red on those little fins or webbing i should say red on its tail fins up there red and yellow and then that fan on its back of the red into the yellow i really like as well so that is so cool so we need names for both of these dinos and then of course any other dino that we have over here or any dino that you think needs to have a name or a different name go ahead and put it in the comments and i will like i said review consider it and if it's um a decent enough name um or probably just a name in general i'll go and change so yeah this one was cringer because of the green and orangish yellow color there stripes looking like cringer from uh, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe and everything so that's all cool so we got two new 150 dinos of a Spino and Sabertooth the double S's both male just dominating the game now so that's going to be it for this episode so I hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to let me know in the comments down below down below gotta go down below <laughs> can't zoom out there gotta go down below down below like this under the ground Leave comments down there. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more ARC videos. And I hope you're enjoying the ARC game some more. Once again, I wish I could play more ARC. But it, playing the game just takes a whole lot of time. And when I don't have a whole lot of time in my life, I can usually get about one video a week is all I can manage to do. Um, so that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching. And we will see you next time. Look at my hair.